Hi family, welcome back to the channel. Prophetess Nikki G here. People realize, family, that you are a jewel. You know, it's just something about life whenever you're no longer a part of the lives of some people that they begin to realize that what you brought to the table. People realize now that, family, they should have made you a priority and not an option. Don't ever let anybody put you in a box where they can pick you up and throw you in that box whenever they get ready. Don't ever let anybody in this world treat you as an option. People treat you as an option and people treated you like that because they thought you didn't have any more options. People didn't understand a lot about you. This is why God will sometimes allow people to grace your presence just for a little bit. He'll let people grace your season, grace your life for a season. And then he'll allow these people to go. He allows circumstance to come so people can leave your life. He'll allow something to come to disrupt that foundation. He will have something to come in to get rid of that because he wants to show people, family, who you really are. Now that you are no longer in the life of people, people realize that they treated you like an option when you were the priority, when you were the treasure, when you were the prize. How can they realize that and why? Are people realizing that now? They're realizing that because they're living with the consequences of what they've chosen. So you don't fight and you don't push and pull. I want you to understand that today, family. If you're struggling with this, you don't have to talk anybody into staying with you. That is too much work. It takes too much effort and it is really unnecessary. If you're talking yourself until you're blue in the face, if you're trying to do your best to convince somebody why you are that right person, you have the wrong person. You had the wrong person. And the people that are no longer a part of your life, they're realizing that you were the right person. Isn't that something? You had the wrong person at that point, particular time in your life. And these people are realizing today that you were that right person. They're realizing that you were that right person because how their life has unfolded when now that you're not there. This is why it's really good to give people the space that they need. It's really good to give people the space that they're asking you for. Because during that time where you give space, even if, even if you didn't want to give the space, give it. Even if you don't agree with the space, give it. Because whenever you belong to God, during that time that you're not there, during that part where that separation is, what God is going to do for you, God is going to heal you. And, and you're not going to want to come back together. And now these people are going to be trying so hard to come back into your life because they know now that you were the prize the whole time. These people traded in a jewel, family of God, for a fake diamond. They traded in green pasture. They did for brown grass. When people think that things are better on the other side, when people think that the grass is greener on the other side, let people go. It is power in letting people go. But well, people are realizing that letting you go was the worst mistake in the world. It doesn't matter what capacity in the relationship that you have with somebody or that you had with somebody. Now that you are not a part of that person's life, whenever you remove yourself or whenever you allow someone to remove themselves from your life, let people go. Give people the grace to go. Allow these people to go. Because I'm telling you, whenever you are truly chosen... You are not going to have a desire to reconcile this. You're not. And God is going to let you see this. God, See, this is why sometimes God doesn't answer the prayers that you want him to answer for you. Because God knows better than you and our family. God knows six months down the road, a year down the road, he knows you're not going to want that. See, God knows why you are crying out to him for certain things. He knows why you are crying out to him for certain people. He knows that. This is why God has allowed some time and space. Between you and something, this is why God has allowed time and space between you and someone. Because as you, as a chosen person, God is going to heal you. And that person who came into your life, who wanted time, who wanted space, or whatever the circumstances that happened, that space and time had to come in between you. These people are going to realize that they do want to be a part of your life. These people are going to realize that they made the worst decision in the world to walk away from you. They're realizing this because of what they chose over you has let them down. You know, you will have people choose other people over you. I mean, literally people over you. It doesn't matter who the person is. People will choose a job over you, family, because these are superficial people.
But now that you're not a part of these people's lives anymore, family, now they want to come back into your life and be a part of what God is doing in your life. Don't allow that. I'm going to always encourage you to keep that door closed because so many people are asking, do I go back and do I open that door? How did that person leave? How did that person leave your life? If a person left your life the same way, family, and if God truly sent these people back to you, you have to know that they're not going to enter your life the same. They're not. They can't. If they leave your life the same that one way and they come back that same way, God didn't send these people to you. These people are realizing that you are the Jew. You are the prize. They are realizing, family of God, that you are a priority. They're realizing this. They are. And they know this because you're not there. They realize it because whatever they put their hands to do is not prospering them. And now they want to come back in. So you got to be real careful how you let people in, when you let people in, and why you let people in. Just because someone treated you poorly and now they want to come back, don't laugh about it. Don't get happy about it, family of God, because you got to do a discovery. You got to find out why these people want to come in. And a lot of the times people want to come back into your life because their life isn't, not going, their life isn't going well. And they see your stability. God wanted me to let you all know that today. A lot of people are seeing the stability that you have now. They are seeing your stability. These people are seeing your successes and they're looking at their life and they're looking at how they can benefit by being with you. That is an opportunist family. An opportunist will always try to come back into your life when they see your life is doing better than theirs. Now you listen to this. If these people's lives were going well, they wouldn't speak to you another day in their life, some of them. If these people's decisions that they've made would pan out how they wanted it to, if the career choice that they made would pan out the way they wanted it to, if that relationship that they chose over you was panning out the way that they thought that it would, these people wouldn't give you the time of day. I want you to remember that. And I want you to consider this before you make a wrong decision to take someone back into your life. You don't let people waltz into your life, family. You don't let people just look at you as a revolving door. They can come in and out your life, go as they please. No. You have standards and you have boundaries. You've always been the prize. You've always been top tier. You've always been that. But when people look at you as you are less than, when people think they're better than you, this is how they treat you. Now people are realizing, family, this is the truth. People are looking at your life and they realize they've made the worst decision in their whole life. And some people are not going to know how to come back to you. Some people are not going to know how to break the ice with you. You have a lot of people right now that are trying to break the ice with you. And God sent me here to warn you, family of God, because God is getting ready to give you something really big. God is getting ready to give you something great. And the enemy can sense it. Some of you have been sensing that God is getting ready to do something powerful in your life. You've been sensing that God is getting ready to do something amazing in your life and the devil can sense it too. These demonic people who left your life, who God allowed to leave your life, these people can sense it too. They have monitored your life and they've said to themselves, I might as well go back to where I was. I might as well head, hold my head down. These people will walk back to you if they could, family of God. Some of them will. With their tail between their legs, they will. And shame, but don't you allow it. They are only coming back to you, family, because their life is failing and your life is growing. If you go back to something, if you go back to someone that God removed out of your life, or if, or if you go back to a person that God allowed to leave, I'm telling you, family, you can kiss your prosperity goodbye. You can kiss all of that healing goodbye. All of that healing that you've done is going to get thrown out of the window. All these people are going to do is disrupt your life. People can't stand the fact that you do better than them. They can't stand the fact that you're happier than them, happier than them. They can't stand the fact that you are more stable than them. They can't stand the fact that you are loving yourself, that you have love in your life, that you're happy, you're filled with joy, you're fulfilling your dreams. They can't, they can't handle that. They can't handle that. So you be careful with people trying to come back in to be nice to you. No family, you be a little bit suspicious. Your Holy Spirit is going to let you be a little bit suspicious and you're supposed to. Because truly, if their life was doing well, you wouldn't hear from them. You wouldn't. You don't let people come back into your life and power up. They energize their life. This is why people connect to you. Because you're powerful. Your energy is powerful. It's off the charts. 
They know whatever you put your hands to do, you're going to prosper. People know that. They have said it, family of God, and they probably have told you too. Why? Or they've asked you, why is it that everything that you touch prospers? Because you have favor on your life. That's why. And people know that. People know you have the favor of God on your life, family of God. They know it. I'm telling you, family, God wanted me to let y'all know today. Now people are seeing that you have, you are that priority. They're seeing that you're top, you were top tier. They're seeing that. You hear me? In the name of the Lord. They know that. You go on with your life. You turn a deaf ear to that and you keep a blind eye to these people. And don't you give these, these people a place. Don't you do that. I'm telling you, what they chose over you didn't work out. It did not work out. So now they want to run back to you, family of God, to get their head above the water. No, you let them sink in that water. You don't throw them a life jacket. You don't throw them a life preserver. No, you do not. You let whatever they chose over you save them. Don't you save the day. Don't you save the devil's day. No, family. I love you. We'll talk later. If it be the will of the Lord, thank y'all for what you do on our channel every day. I'm so excited for all of you. Keep giving me your praise reports and your prayer requests. We thank God that God is changing your life through that book, becoming a master of divine consciousness. Don't get scammed here. You see the scammers pinning other people's profiles, fake icon, picture icons. You see this. So don't let the devil scam you, family of God. Don't let the devil scam you. Keep reporting these people. I am not reaching out to anybody when you receive a reply. Under the comment section, delete these notifications and delete these replies. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel, family of God. I love you. We're all about God and our faith. We're all about healing the whole man. Now that you're healed, family, now that your life is soaring, you're going to have people coming out of the woodworks want to come back into your life. But don't let these people come back into your life and mess up the flow of blessing that God is getting ready to pour into your life. Let them stay on the sidelines to look at your life. That's what they wanted. They thought they could do better than you. So now what they chose over you didn't pan out the way they wanted it. They feel like they can come back and flatter you and ease their way back in. Don't you let these people ease their way back into your life, family. They made that choice. Let them live with it. They see you living with it. They see you have no problem with it. And now they have a problem with that. Now you don't have a problem with them not being a part of your life. They have a problem with it. People are in their feelings. They feel a little salty against you. So what, family of God? Care less. Go on with your life. They had an opportunity and they blew it. How many times? One, two, three, four. A lot of times. So what? Enough is enough. God said, I love y'all. Keep going, family. Bye-bye.